is one fight of note, and it does involve a former two-division world champion, including in the 122-pound uh, junior featherweight division. Luis Neri is on uh, a big fight card in Tijuana, Mexico. He is in a 10-round bout that is going to potentially set him up for another title shot. And, Dan, we've had an opponent switch. So we'll just disclose a little bit here. It's been a little creative on how do we get the odds for this fight that are now posted on BetUS and what's going to happen in this fight. Tell us more about the new opponent. But Neri is obviously the story here in this fight in Mexico. Sure. I mean, he was supposed to fight a journeyman uh, Mexican countryman opponent in Jesus Garcia. Now he is fighting Garcia's out for whatever reason. And in comes another Mexican countryman uh, journeyman, David Carmona. Now, David Carmona, is if you, if you are really a diehard boxing fan and you watch Spanish language boxing in the United States, people know him because he appeared many times on the Telemundo series. He was you know, on a regular basis uh, on that show. Uh, numerous of those fights. He does not have the greatest record in the world. I'm looking it up. He's 22, 10, and 5. Not, you know, kind of a pedestrian record. Only been stopped three times. And Neary, you know, if you followed him, you know he's a very good puncher uh, uh, and has knocked out most of his opponents. In terms of Carmona, he's he's riding not the greatest stretch of his career. He's lost four of his last five fights, but he's fought a lot of top guys. He goes the distance with most guys. He's a little confounding to me. When, when you're trying to talk about whether he goes the distance or he gets stopped, because he's been, he's gone the distance with some good fighters. He went the distance with Nayoya Inouye, who's one of the greatest fighters in boxing, a pound for pound guy, one of the best punchers, you know, whatever weight class you want to pick. He is the unified Bantamweight champion. This guy went the distance with him, and he's gone the distance with other good fighters also. He's also been stopped in those three losses, you know, just by regular guys. So he sort of confounds me in a big way. Uh, Neary, as you mentioned, a two-division champion. He was a title holder in Bantamweight. He was a title holder uh, in the junior featherweight division. He's coming off of a victory that followed his one loss, which was a knockout against Brandon Figueroa in a uh, in a world title fight. And so he's basically trying to just, you know, he got the one wind under his belt coming back. He's trying to put together a little bit of a run. It's sort of a stay busy, kind of lower profile mm -hmm. fight. And as you mentioned, he's trying to set himself up for a championship fight. So if he is the winner, which obviously he's expected to do against Carmona, there's a decent chance that uh, in his next fight, you know, probably maybe at the very end of this year, more likely, I guess, the beginning of next year, he could find himself challenging the unified 122-pound champion, uh, Stephen Fulton, which is a very interesting fight because of the styles that those two guys have. And, of course, they have been fighting, you know, good opposition. So that's what the fight's about is – can, can Luis Neary uh, put together, you know, two wins in a row, uh, go home and take care of business against a journeyman kind of opponent and put himself in excellent position to challenge for another world title? That's what it's all about. All right, fair enough. And again, Neri, only the one loss. And you're not going to see the graphics with the odds because, again, it was a late ad of Carmona. Uh, as the opponent that came on Thursday afternoon. But Neri on the Bet US line is a 1,000 uh, favorite, minus 1,000 uh, as a favorite. Carmona, I believe, is plus 750 to perha perhaps pull the upset here if he can. And they've even instilled the over under at eight and a half rounds. So we're not going to make an official play here on this, but I would lean. Uh, Neri by decision in, in each of his last four fights they've gone the route over the last couple of years except for the knockout loss to Figueroa I'm talking about in his last three victories they've all gone the route I think this goes the 10 rounder I th I'm going to trust you on Carmona being a solid veteran that doesn't get knocked out what do you think uh, on a lean for a prediction the, here the thing is he has been knocked out but it's like weird usually when you're a guy that gets knocked out it's you get knocked out when you fight you know the top quality guys like the inner ways of the world and you may go the distance when you're fighting the lesser opponents uh, so honestly, if we were doing official picks, this might have been one of those plays where I would take the money line on Neary and not really get too involved in, you know, is he winning by knockout? Is he winning by the how? Side? Yeah, the how. Uh, so, uh, Carmona is, is a, is a veteran guy, a tough dude. Neary has been one of these fighters who has been, when he's at his best, he's really good and he's fought good opposition. But he's also the kind of guy that when he's not fighting like a top name, sometimes he's a little, a little lackadaisical, maybe he doesn't come in the best condition. He's had some issues even when he was fighting in title fights uh, in terms of making the weight. So sometimes, uh, you know, he'll – what's the old saying? He'll fight down to the level of his opposition. Mm -hmm. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that given his past, 
knowing he's got this fight against you know uh, just a lesser kind of opponent who made a late you know was a late addition to the card, uh, and in the future he may have a title fight. It, it may be a fight where I, I suspect he's going to still win the fight, but may just not perform at the outright best that he can. Um, Carmona's situation is taking the fight on short notice. I'm not aware, or I don't know if he's been training for another fight. I don't know how how um, in shape he's been for this. You know, a lot of times guys get taken up in a fight at the last moment. They might be training for some other fight, or uh, you know, they're the type of guy that will stay in shape, knowing they might get that late phone call. So, you know, we're sort of flying blind on how uh, how how well prepared Carmona is for not so much specifically for Neri, but for any fight whatsoever. So that's another reason why I wouldn't get involved in terms of wagering on the how, because I just don't know it, what kind of shape he's in. If I knew if somebody like from his camp had said to me, or I'd seen a video or whatever, you know, you know, he's been in the gym training for a fight for the last six weeks. Uh, then maybe you would, you know, lean towards him going further into the fight. So uh, the way I look at it, I would certainly lean towards certainly a neary victory, uh, but I would definitely take a pass in terms of like, is it going to be a distance fight? Is it going to be a knockout fight? Interesting on the leans. It's like, it's like uh, your boy TJ, who's not you. Saying in the yeah, comments that's there, correct. That's so that's a different TJ, not me in the live chat, who says Neri very unpredictable. Again, he got knocked out. If I recall correctly, he got knocked out with a body shot by Brandon Figueroa and couldn't get up uh, from that. But again, other than that, 29 and one does have a win earlier this year. So again, we're not going to dwell a lot on this fight. We're not making an official pick. This is Neri and the and the carrot again. Stephen Fulton is the real deal at 122 pounds with two of the world titles. Uh, right now, Neri may be his opponent coming, as you mentioned, first part of 2023, something like that, if he gets a win in this fight in Mexico one more time, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, again, it's uh, so it's an important fight for him because he's got to keep that kind of keep the ball rolling. But also, he knows that there's possible bigger business down the road. So it would behoove him to come prepared uh, for for a solid fight. And uh, the, the, the wild card really is Carmona. You know, what kind of shape is he in? Is he, is he going to go? I mean, because he's been, like I said, I keep dwelling on this. He's gone the route with Noya in a way, which is yep. amazing. But he was stopped by uh, Cal Yafai, for example, who was a, you know, a good quality fighter uh, and, it, and it had a world title. And, you know, he just completely – he he's unpredictable, as as the comment was made, that also Neri is unpredictable. Uh, yes, he's only got the one loss, but – it's a roller coaster sometimes getting to his fights is the point. The peeps are beating down TJ, the other TJ in the chat, saying that, hey, uh, leave Neary alone. Neary's the veteran. Neary's a former two-time world champion. Look at this. Assad is saying leave Neary alone here in this. So they're aware. Savage on fight. savage violence. I love savage, it. We love that. Pay-per-view. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm, I'm paying for it. <laughs>